test, test, test. So I thought I'd do a drawing with you. And it's scanned in, and it's in this program, Krita, or Krita, if I can ever remember it, the way to pronounce that. So basically I was doing some sketches on um, in Waverley Station in Edinburgh, and there was a lot of really nice light coming through, sort of dappled light from the, the metallic trusses um, on the roof. And... Um, and there were many people there, and movement, and crowds. And here I'm just sketching in, erasing some areas on this drawing layer I added, in order to see the white underneath, you know, a nice bright white. And then on the layers, I've got this layer as a darkened layer, so when I draw on the layer below, then I can we can see the colors on that layer as well. And um, as I was drawing away, you know, the, there were people rushing around trying to get trains to wherever they live, near Edinburgh, near Glasgow. And, and I got talking to two people as well. Somebody asked me, what I was drawing, and then I got talking to them and somebody else as well, sitting on the same seat, and it turned out that they were all kind of drawers and sketchers, and one knew about the urban sketching movement, so that was really interesting, actually. Um, strange sort of conversations you have when you go out there and do sketching. And... If I aim to go back there next week to do a bit of a longer sketch, I might film it with my camera. And as I said before, what I like when I like drawing, especially urban scenes, is that I like the graphics. You know, graphics of signs and things sometimes stand out. And then we can work them with them in the convers not the conversation, the composition. Because I've said in another screencast, you know, the, there are people in urban environments. There's the, whoops, that's something else. Um, there's, you know, the, the architecture in the background, the very background now. And then in the foreground now, it's people and signs, and television boards, you know, displays. And then even, on top of that, the new layer is almost the internet. So when we move into augmented reality, perhaps when we're wearing our Google glasses, then we'll see another layer yet on top of the signs and the people. And as I said, the, the architecture almost now takes a back seat, a back seat compared to these, these, these other things going on in the city. That's how I feel. It would be interesting to know what other people think and how they might interpret a similar thing with their drawings. So we've rubbed some things out here. Got some spaces between lines and the bright white is almost like a rhythm. Did 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 like that. And what else should I choose a color? A blue would be quite good, so let's go to a blue. A bit lighter. A bit lighter again. Yeah. Uh, there. And I, I like this technique of first drawing and then taking it to digital, the digital process because it, um, you know, it gives the best of both worlds. It gives you the the raw traditional sketch that you've actually gone outside and gone into the you know the urban environment or even the natural environment and sketched and then we can take that to the computer and it gives us this very graphic element we can 
we can put down. I've just done these on this layer. I wasn't really meant to. I meant to do it on the layer below because as you see, now I draw it on the layer below, you can actually see the results on the top because I've changed the top layer with uh, top layer is just a minute, the top layer is here and it's got a darken it's darken so this is an effect I like to use quite a lot and I'm sure you can see why because it's almost like colouring in a comic so there's blues what shall we have else shall we have a yellow And I always say, just get out there and sketch. So you've got some time, your time between your work, you're getting a train, or even if you're indoors, you can sketch. You don't always, don't always have to draw from reality. It doesn't have to be reality. It can be imagination as well, just purely abstract. But you know, get out there and draw because it's a very good thing, thing to do. Just a bit of orange there. And uh, so this is uh, quite a nice thing to do on a Saturday afternoon. And just a little quick thing here, just to put some oranges here. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, I'll stop in a minute. Gonna crop it. Crop it a bit more. Okay, so there's a bit of a drawing jam for you. So remember, draw in real life and also draw. Draw with your tablet, your graphics tablet, your, your Wacoms or whatever. But always draw. In reality with your pen and paper or whatever because this is a great tool as well okay you can check out more of my work at www.jamesabelart.com with some tutorials lots of tutorials on there and also there's more tutorials on my youtube channel so questions and comments always welcome i try to get back to you as soon as possible okay speak to you later bye